part of the staff wellness program here, um, offering wellness to Rutgers. Um, today, we will be working on trying to open up the body, try to relieve the body from stress, um, which is kind of hard to do in today's society. But um, I'm so glad that you guys are here um, taking time for yourself in the middle of your day. Um, I do believe that you may have received the third tenet this week um, on the third agreement, which is don't make assumptions. Oftentimes when we make assumptions, they're tied up in ego, meaning that we feel that we are right about something on first meeting, first glance, um, first experience. So with that being said, hopefully your assumption about today's class will be um, one of a positive note as opposed to a negative. Um, one of the things about also make, about making assumptions is not allowing yourself to be open. Um, by not being open in yoga, we actually believe in energy channels within the body. Um, oftentimes there are blockages which cause tension, which cause fatigue, which causes um, stress on the body. So we work on trying to eliminate those blockages um, in order for the energy to flow freely. Um, and you can also apply that to your life as well, trying to remove blockages in your life in order to be more free in the things that you do. With that being said, we're gonna be utilizing a chair today as well as a wall. Um, these are things that you can do in your office as well as in your home, um, whenever you feel that you just need to, again, relieve some kind of stress, relieve some kind of tension and open up the body. So we're gonna begin by sitting on your chair. <laughs> You're going to sit towards the edge of the chair, maybe a few inches beyond, with your feet together, with your feet together. So your eyes are closed, your hands are on your knees, you're going to bring the chin to your chest, and as you exhale, you're going to roll it over towards the right. As you inhale, you're going to lift the chin up towards the ceiling, exhale, roll it over towards the left, and then inhale, your chin back to your chest. Reversing the circle, starting with the left. As you exhale, inhale, just look towards the ceiling. Exhale, over towards the right. And inhale, back to the center of your chest. Towards the right. Look to the towards the ceiling. Towards the left. And back to center. Towards the left, this is the last rotation. Lifting it up towards the ceiling towards the right, and then again, back to the center of your chest. Go ahead and draw your shoulders up towards your ears and roll them back for one. Towards the ears, roll them back for two. Towards the ears, roll them back. And as you roll them back, squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back of the body. Four, five, Six, we're going to do eight here, seven, and eight. Good. You can start to lift your chin. Your eyes can still remain closed if you like. Again, your feet are together. Your hands are on your knees. You're going to open or push or guide your knees out in order to open the knees. Maybe your feet come together, the bottom of your feet come together. That's your inhale. As you exhale, you're going to push the knees back together. Inhale, open the knees, and exhale, push them back together. Three more, open, and exhale, push them back together. Open, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Good. Go ahead and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Placing your right foot onto your right thigh, your right thigh, or I'm sorry, your left thigh or your left knee. Good. Holding on to the shin of your right leg, you're just going to fold forward, just hinging forward at the waist. Hinging forward at the waist. 
hold in here. If you want to release your hands towards the floor, because you can come down a little further, go ahead and do so. Or just keep them on your shins. Elbows are out to the side if your hands are on your shins. And you're just holding here. You're not dropping the head, so you're not closing the throat. You're leading through the crown of your head. So you're, the top of your head is pushing forward. So just hold here, breathe here. Breathe into those, we'll say blockages. We'll use that. Those blockages, those areas of tension, those areas of tightness. And just breathe there. Taking a deep inhale in through your nose. And just open the mouth and just sigh the air out. Just three more like that, inhaling in. And open the mouth and slide the air out. Inhaling in. And open the mouth and exhale the air out. Good. Go ahead and lift back up. Draw that right knee into your chest once again. Once again, just hugging it in and then release it down next to the left. Good. Draw your left knee into your chest. So really hug it in. Place that left foot onto your right thigh. And again, you're holding onto your shin. And then, you know, if you feel able, you can release your arms towards the floor. Just hinging at the waist. And again, breathing into those areas that feels tight. If at if at any time you feel, um, I don't want to say pain, but if you do feel a pain, just kind of back off a little bit. See if what you're feeling dissipates. If it does, it just means that it's discomfort. Your body's not used to being in that position. And you can go back into it. If you do still continue to feel that, then maybe you've gone a little bit too deeply and you just stay kind of backed off of that. But holding here for three, inhaling in and exhaling out. Two, inhaling in and exhaling out. Last one, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Good. Go ahead and come back to your seat. Draw that left knee into your chest. Hug it in. And place the foot down next to the right. You're going to twist over towards the right. With your right hand, you're going to grab the left side of your chair, if you're in a chair. Hopefully, your chair has a back. And you're just going to twist over towards the right. Looking over that right shoulder and breathe here. Three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and release that. Shake out the shoulder. Twist over towards the left. Again, with the left hand, you're going to grab the outside of the back of your chair, the right side of the chair, and twisting over towards the left, looking over the left shoulder, and holding here. For three, two, and one. Go ahead, go ahead and release that, and shake it out. You're still sitting towards the edge of your chair. As you breathe in, lift the arms up overhead, maybe arch the back, look up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, fold forward over your thighs, release the arms down. If you're able to lift the arms up towards the ceiling behind you, go ahead and do so. Inhale, lifting up, arch the back, look up. Exhale, fold forward onto the thighs, arms lift up behind you, good. Three more, inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold forward. Arms lift. Last one, inhale, lift up. 
and exhale, fold forward. Good, coming back to your center, sitting up. If your chair has wheels on them, if you can lock them into place to keep the chair from uh, moving, go ahead and lift up. You're gonna face your chair, face your chair. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, and I should say that maybe you're about a foot beyond um, the end of your chair. So as you inhale, lift the arms up overhead, bring the palms together, and exhale, you're gonna fold forward. Hands can fall onto the seat of the chair as you fold forward. And hold here for three, two, and one, start to roll up to stand, nice and slow, pull in with your core. Three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead once again, lift the chin towards the ceiling, and then exhale again and fold forward over your chair. Hands can fall onto the chair. If you feel comfortable, you can release your hands towards the floor. If not, they can just stay on the chair. Hold here. Chin to chest, three, two, and one. This time, you're gonna come halfway up. So your spine is straight and is parallel to the floor and to the ceiling. You're gonna step your feet back, holding onto the sides of the seat of the chair. Step your feet back. So you're coming into a plank position. See if you can lower down, bending with the elbows. And you're gonna push through into your upward facing dog, looking up, letting the feet fall, push back into a supported downward facing dog. So hands are still on the chair and your chin is to your chest. We're holding here for three, two, and one, with your right foot, go ahead and bring it forward. Bending at the knee, utilizing the chair to kind of support the knee. Your right hand is gonna be on to the chair as well, the center of the seat. You're gonna reach that left arm up and over, looking up towards the ceiling. Hold here, breathe here for three. Two and one. Good. Go ahead and place both hands back to the sides of the seat of the chair. Step that right foot back to where the left is. Come back into your supported downward facing dog. Hold here for three, two, and one, with your left foot, mimic what you did on the right side. So bringing that left foot forward, again, utilizing the chair as support for your knee. Left hand is in the center of the seat. And you're reaching that right arm up and over. Hold in here for three, two, and one. Again, placing both hands to the side of the seat, stepping that left foot back to the right. Come back into your supported downward facing dog. Last breath. Good. Walk your feet back towards your chair and roll up to stand in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and shake it out. We're going to make our way over to the wall. So your body or the side of your body should be alongside the wall with your left hand. I'm going to do it on the left first. Typically, I do it on the right. With your left hand, go ahead and place your hand onto the wall behind you. I'm not sure if you can see that. 
and you want to try to get as close to the wall as possible. So hand is on the wall, palm is on the wall, and you're twisting towards the right. The higher you raise the hand of the wall, the more you work the upper part of the shoulders and the scapula in the back. But hold here. Breathe here. For three. Two. And one. Good. Go ahead and release that. Then we'll do the right side. So turning towards the right. Right side of the body is against the wall. Palm is on the wall. Shoulder hopefully is on the wall as well. But again, you're trying to get as close to the wall as possible as you twist towards the left. Looking over that left shoulder. And again, the higher you're able to get the arm up the wall, the more you're able to create length and openness in the shoulders and in the scapula. Holding here for three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and release that and shake it out. Again, utilizing the wall. Go ahead and I'm so sorry, my computer died because <laughs> I forgot to plug it in. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I plugged it back in. Okay. There you go. I'm okay. back. Hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I will start recording. My, my computer died and I forgot to plug it back in. <laughs> the computer was like, okay, I'm anticipating something's about to happen. I'm sorry. So it kind of gave us a little breather, a little breather. How do you guys feel? Woke you up, made sure you're listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. So you're going to um, go ahead and press your back against the wall. Your feet are going to be about a foot away from the wall, about a foot away from the wall. Good. Go ahead and press your lower spine into the wall. By doing that, you're lifting up the front of your pelvis. So you're lifting up the front of your pelvis. You're gonna fold forward. Fold forward, your knees are gonna be bent. So slightly, but there's gonna be a slight bend in the knees as you fold forward. Your belly is gonna rest on your thighs. Let your feet be about hip distance apart. So that's six inches. It's gonna be like two fists. If you put two fists together, that's how far you want your feet to be apart. Your hands are going to be right in front, or the, the palm of your hands are going to be right in front of your toes. You're pressing your tailbone into the wall. Press that tailbone into the wall. Let your head hang. Press down into the floor. Press your tailbone into the wall. Hold here. Breathe here. Continue pressing down into the floor. Continue pressing your tailbone into the wall for three, two, and one. Staying low in this position, 
start walking your fingertips over towards the right as far as you can. Do not let your left hip come off the wall. Keep pressing that left hip into the wall and hold here. For three, two, and one. Walk your fingertips back to center. Roll up to stand in five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. I know you're like, wait a minute, didn't we do the left side too? Yes, we will. Fold forward over your thighs. Let the knees slightly bend as your, thigh, as your belly meets your thighs and you're folded forward. You're holding there. Hands again are in front of the toes. You're pressing down into the floor as you're pressing your tailbone into the wall. Hold here. Relax the shoulders. Don't let them creep up towards your ears for three, two, and one. Start walking your fingertips over towards the left. Again, don't let that right butt cheek or the right hip come off the wall. Keep pressing that right hip into the wall and hold here for three, two, and one. Walk your fingertips back and roll up to stand in five, four, three, two, and one. And shake it out. Coming back to your chair, facing your chair. Hands again on the sides of the seat. You're folded forward. Gonna step your feet back. Once again, coming into that plank, bringing that right foot forward. Again, utilizing that chair as support for your knee. Go ahead and place that left heel down. You're facing the chair. So your torso is facing the chair. You're not open out to the side. You're facing the back of your chair. You're gonna straighten that right leg and just fold forward. Fold forward. You can just fold forward as far as your chair will allow you to, or if you want to reach for the floor, you can do so as well. And hold here for three, two, and one. If your hands are on the floor, go ahead and place them back onto the chair. Step that right foot back to meet the left and come back into your downward facing dog. Hold here for three, two, and one. Bring that left foot forward. Cartwheel that right heel down. You're gonna straighten that left knee facing your chair, so not opening out to the side and fold forward over straight leg. Again, your arms can be supported onto the base of your chair, the seat of your chair, or they can fall towards the floor. And hold here. Breathe here for three. Nice deep inhalations and exhalations. Two. And one, good, go ahead and place your hands back onto the chair. Come back into your last and final downward facing dog. Just really let your chest fall in between the shoulder blades. Taking one more breath here, you can inhale in. And exhale out. Good. Walk your feet back to the chair and come back to sit. With your eyes closed, your right hand onto your belly and your left hand onto your heart. Allow your chin to fall towards your chest. 
Taking a deep inhale in, and as you breathe in, allow the belly to expand, pressing your hand or pressing your belly against your hand. And as you exhale, allow the belly to draw in. And the hand starts to sink towards your spine. Taking another deep inhale in. And exhale. Last one. Inhaling in. Expanding the belly. And exhale. Thank you guys for your practice this afternoon. Thank you for taking some time out for yourself. And um, hopefully I lived up to your expectations and your assumptions as well. Have a wonderful